so perfect, definitely the best collection yet. Now it's just such a big pinnacle moment in my career. We don't have an awful lot of time, but we know that we can turn this around. Now more than ever, there's so many eyes on PLT, so we have to get this right. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have a venue. So our date doesn't work for the venue, and I think it goes without saying that if you don't have a venue, you don't have a show. and you don't have any availability for that whole week. Yeah. Okay. It's a crisis that I didn't see coming, to be honest. As of right now, without that venue, we don't have a show. We'll, we'll find a way, we'll find the venue. I don't see how we're gonna pull it off here. There's no show. Hello? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Honestly, you have no idea how much you've helped me just now. Like, <laughs> you have no idea. All right, thank you, thank you so much. All right, cheers, bye. Thank goodness we managed to get our dream venue. There was so much uncertainty for a while. We really didn't know if we were going to be able to secure it, but I've just found out that we can. So I am so pleased and I can finally get so excited about everything and relax a little bit more. Honestly, I feel like planning this event has been an entire emotional roller coaster. It suits the aesthetic of the show perfectly. It has all of the infrastructure required for the show. I am so excited. My first look at the stage and the room all coming together, I knew instantly that everything was perfect and we picked the right layout for the stage and oh, it was just the most incredible feeling ever. Oh my God, it's literally like full scale, unbelievable. I didn't expect it to be like this. We've looked at the plans for the stage a million times, but actually seeing it in person being built was just unbelievable. It just made me so much more excited. Hi, my name's Amy. I am the Global Head of PR and Talent at PLT. I feel nervous, but I also feel really, really excited of what's to come. There's a lot to think about when you're producing these shows. I don't think people realise just how much work there is to do behind the scenes. I'm going through the final guest list and also the VIPs, making sure that they've got all of their dressing and then the confirmation emails will go out to everyone um, with their seat numbers. The rest of my team will probably be on site from about three o'clock to pack um, the goodie bags that will sit on the front row. So I'll be helping them with that. Um, and we'll be here till about 10, 11 o'clock tonight just going through the dress rehearsal with all the models on site as well. How's everyone all yeah, yeah, we're all ready, we're all hyped, we're all ready to go. Let's get on the catwalk, let's smash out some moves, let's look at the walk, let's make sure all is um, all is good in terms of timing so we can look at walks and stuff for tomorrow. Any questions? No? Yes. Yeah. Let's do this. Making sure we set a clear understanding of how we want things to look and how we want things to be, but also not putting too much pressure on the models is so important because this is huge for them. A lot of them have only ever worked in studios before and haven't walked on a catwalk ever. So obviously I've got a really clear vision of how I want things to be, but I don't want to put too much pressure on the models and freak them out on the first rehearsal. We had a choreographer there as well to help us with the walks and like how the layout was going to be at the show, which was a job that I didn't even really think about What was that was so key. Like we had to have him there to help us with everything, he was incredible. You can only cross each other when you are both at the end. 
If one of you gets there too soon, you're, one of you's going too quick and one of you's probably going too slow. What I do not want to see, please do not be doing this. <laughs> So everything's going smoothly, we're at one of our last rehearsals and the bench breaks. What the hell? So obviously we're laughing our heads off, it's hysterical at that moment in time, but actually it's less than 24 hours until the show, so this is a little bit of a disaster at this point. The bench only had three people sitting on it and it's meant to hold four, so this is a huge problem. We cannot have our front row or any row collapsing during a live streamed catwalk. It's the night before the show and we need to source brand new benches to sit 250 people that we know are not going to break. So. Time for bed, not that I'm going to be able to get much sleep at all. We had a few issues last night. A bench broke, which was great. Yeah. We, well, they found them, didn't they? They yeah. found all the new benches. Yeah. Didn't sleep the best, because obviously lots of emotions, lots of things to think about. But I'm not feeling too bad today. I feel like we're really organised and like we've got everything under control. So any rehearsals that we're doing now, we're just going to literally perfect. It's going to be a momentous stay for us, and I'm really like emotional about getting it sorted and getting it over the line. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. I'm excited to see the models because I don't think anyone's expecting, you know, some of the girls that we've got walking. I think as a brand, we are very big on championing diversity. One of the most important things for me is that this catwalk is completely diverse. We want to see this collection and all the clothes on PLT on every girl out there, every girl with a different shape, size, race, everyone. So it was so key that every model sort of demonstrated that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really like anxious, but like in a really good way. Like it's really exciting to be like walking and listening to music and then everyone being there, yeah, which is like, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna be walking in pretty thing anyway. <laughs> just feel so excited, like I actually can't believe I'm here. I just still feel like a very normal girl amongst a lot of models. <laughs> <laughs> the nerves have kicked in a little bit now. Um, we're doing basically our final dress rehearsal now, so this is the last moment we have to practice it before the audience are in. So this is obviously a serious moment, so uh, yeah, nervous but just so excited above anything. i just literally so excited for everyone to get here now. Seeing the models in the collection for the first time is such a surreal feeling. I visioned how the collection is going to look on all the girls, but seeing it for the first time is just such a pinch me moment and I'm just so proud. Everyone is starting to arrive now. All the guests are outside. Obviously, we're all inside. It's that moment of like, this is happening now. By oh my God. A little bit of nervousness, I'm not going to lie, but buzzing, like I'm well excited. Hey guys, this is your host Nat O'Leary and you are backstage at the PLT by Molly May Runway Show. Get ready, you don't want to miss this. The show is moments away from starting. My heart is in my throat. I feel like I literally can't breathe. But at the same time, I just feel like we've, we're so prepped for this moment. Like, if everything goes to plan, it should go absolutely incredibly. And the seats are filling up and everyone's arriving. And I just, I cannot even explain the feeling. It's just beyond surreal. She's got this opportunity to put on an amazing showcase. There's so many eyes on us now more than ever. We can't fail. This is Pretty Little Thing by Molly May. So during an event, I feel like you're just in the moment. It's almost like you're not present, but you're fully present. Yeah, the moment just takes over, literally. 
the team have absolutely smashed it. They've completely followed the brief. They've done everything they ever needed to do. And I'm so, so proud of them. I feel like I actually didn't breathe during the show. I feel like I maybe took a couple of breaths. I was just stiff, trying to do my job, trying to fix clothes, everything. But at the same time, I can't believe it's actually now and it's happening. The models are on stage, everyone's cheering, the music's on. We've worked six months for this moment and it's finally here. I just, I can't explain that feeling. Coming out of the end and having a little bow and just thanking everyone for being there. It was like an out of body experience. I just had to get off stage so quick because I just wanted to burst into tears and just be so happy with everyone backstage. Um, but yeah, that was a really nice moment for me. I mean, I don't know anything about fashion at all um, or outfits or piecing together or anything, but I couldn't take my eyes off it and I really thought it was amazing, you know? So, uh, no, but on a serious note, I thought it was absolutely amazing, looked super professional, and you did a marvellous job, so be proud of yourself. Yeah. I think I just feel surreal as it was such a success, so all the unanswered questions have finally been answered because it was perfect. Like, not a thing, I, I wouldn't want to change a thing. And now we're done, it's time to party and celebrate and have a great time with the team, I'm so excited. Thank you, the team, for being the best team ever. Thank you, Molly, for being the easiest person to work with. And yeah, I just, I, I love my job. I love PLT. I love, 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 love it. The models were honestly flawless. They were just unbelievable. Not a lace came undone, not any pulling on dresses that we went over in rehearsals, not, not hugging onto their outfits. They just, they shone so much and I was proud of them. They were unbelievable. So from a social perspective, it's absolutely smashed it. It's had a reach of over 800 million. We've trended throughout the day on Twitter and the YouTube videos had the highest engagement we've ever had. London Catwalk Show complete. What's next?